afternoon, Fantasy Bay. Mike Williams here with another Week 6 game preview. And today we're going to be going over the Jacksonville Jaguars versus the New Orleans Saints. Let's get it started. So this game is going to be at 1 on Sunday. The over-under is 42.5. And, and the spread is negative 2.5 to the Jacksonville Jaguars. But we're going to start with the Saints. who had a great game last week. I'm not going to downplay their game. They played well. Even Teddy Bridgewater went off 34, 34 fantasy points, 314 yards, four touchdowns, one pick. He had five rushes for seven yards, but all in all, that was a great game from Teddy Bridgewater. Easily his best game yet. Uh, first time eclipsing 300 passing yards this season. He played well. I'll give him that. He's got the team to do it. Alrighty, let's go down to the wide receivers. Oh, also, I didn't know if I needed to say this. I'm not playing him this week. The Jaguars allow 18 fantasy points to the quarterback. No, I'm good. All right. Michael Thomas came out and went gangbusters. 41 fantasy points with 11 receptions off of 13 targets and 182 yards. Man, he's good. Two touchdowns. Uh, he's averaging 11 receptions this year. That's 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 amazing. PPR beast. Uh, Jaguars rank 11th easiest against the wide receiver, and they allow 24.5 points to the wide receiver. Love that. Obviously, you're starting him up. Uh, Ted Ginn, if he gets a touchdown, he's valuable. Like I said last week, he is a burner. If he gets targets he'll get probably a touchdown he's fast uh alvin Kamara, he's a beast you're starting him every week he had an okay game 16 fantasy points in the last four he's averaged 17 that's not too bad it's not killing your team it's definitely not the top three running back that you drafted but the quarterback went out so what do you expect i also think that he can have a good game so obviously you're starting him up uh also the Jaguars don't seem to be too great against the running back. They're allowing 23.1 fantasy points to the running back position. That's fifth. That's not like that. So I'm, I'm playing Alvin Kamara, obviously. Jared Cook had his first good game. I'm not thinking that he's going to be doing this moving forward, especially not against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, he had 14 points last week, four receptions, six targets, 41 yards and a touchdown. I'm not seeing that against the Jaguars, who are very good against the running back, or not running back, tight end, averaging 6.1 points allowed against the tight end, not starting him. Obviously, you're starting Will Lutz, and I'm really not messing with, I'm not messing with the New Orleans defense. All right, so now let's go over to the Jaguars. All right, so... We got the Minshew Magic going on. I think he is a decent flex play. Not flex play. Decent streamer. He's been playing well since he's been in. Averaging 21.5 points in the last four games. In the last six. He's the one of three quarterbacks that have averaged 16 or scored 16 fantasy points every game this year. I believe the other one is Case Keenum and Patrick Mahomes. So he's in great company. He's playing amazing. 374 yards last week, two touchdowns. You love that. Other than the fumbles, fumbles were terrible. He had three of them. And the Saints uh, allow the third most fantasy points to the quarterback with 23.7. So fire him up. Uh, DJ Chark, do, 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 do. DJ Chark, do, 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 do. DJ Chark, do, 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 do. DJ Chark is playing amazing he is pretty much a must play if you can fit him in your lineup if you're not i mean if you're trying to fit your lineup i definitely like dj chark i think he's been playing great averaging 20 points in the last four games he just had 36 points last game eight eight receptions 11 targets, 164 yards, and two touchdowns. You love that. Targets are there. He's averaging eight targets in the last four games. 11, 8, 5, 9. Love that. He has been playing great and put him in your lineup. I actually think that uh, D.D. Westbrook will also be a good play this week, personally. I see uh, the Saints are sixth against the 
wide receiver, allowing 28.6 to the wide receiver this year. You love that? I actually think he'd be a good play. Leonard Fournette went in. Love that. I love that how much they're feeding him, giving him 20 carries a game in the last four. He scored 22 fantasy points. He had four, four receptions off of seven targets. Seven targets to Leonard Fournette is amazing. Uh, he's averaging six on the year, which is phenomenal. He had 23 carries for 108 yards and a touchdown. He is always a threat on the ground, but if they're going to involve him in the air, he is going to be a force to be reckoned with moving forward. Obviously, he is a start. Even though the Saints are good against the running backs, they allow 14 fantasy points against the running backs. I'm still starting Leonard Fournette. He's a beast. And if he goes down, Armstead, I believe, will fill in that role and play very well. I mean, man, the Jaguars defense. I have them in a league, and I'm playing them, but I'm not too confident, to be honest with you. Uh, the Jaguars just haven't been playing great. They had five points last game. They've been pretty meh. But I'm very interested to see if if Jalen Ramsey comes back because I think that'll make a big difference in their defense. So that's it, Fantasy Bay. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. I have videos on all the other games. Check my YouTube channel. And have a nice day. Good luck this week.